Good morning, beloved children of God. Welcome to Story Time with Pastor Maureen. I am Pastor Maureen Howard of Emanuel Lutheran Church in Washington, Iowa. And as I do every day, I greet you with great joy. I am so glad you're spending some time with me as we read the stories in the Bible that tell us how much God loves you. And so we'll be continuing to read in the Spark Story Bible, and uh, which is published by Augsburg Fortress. And the story that we're going to be reading today, we've already read. But we're not going to skip over this series of stories because they are so important to us as people who follow Jesus. It is the story of Holy Week. The story of Jesus going into Jerusalem, and then the story of Jesus being crucified, and then the story of Jesus rising from the dead on Easter morning. So today we'll be reading the story of Palm Sunday. Now, as I told you last week, we have a guest with us. So I will not be reading the story to you, but Linda Six will be reading to you. So let me introduce you to Linda Six. She'll be sitting in this chair and she'll be reading. So Linda, come on over and meet my friends who come join me every day for story time with Pastor Maureen. Everybody, this is Linda Six. Let's give her a round of applause for reading the story for us today. Thank you, Linda. Good morning. I'm so happy to be here and uh, share some stories with you. Um, I'm a Nana, and so I like to read books to, to boys and girls and to, to big people. And so I'm going to read you a story about Palm Sunday, when Jesus went into the city. It says, friends, Jesus said to his disciples, I need to go to Jerusalem. I've got some important things to do, and I want to celebrate Passover with you there. Will you come with me? Sure, said the disciples. Passover is a great holiday. Such good food. And what a wonderful story Passover celebrates. The exodus of God's people, the Israelites, from Egypt. It's good to be with friends and family at Passover. So Jesus and his friends started on their way to Jerusalem. When they got close to the city, Jesus said, I'd like two of you to go borrow a donkey in the next city. Hmm, please tell the owner I need it. He'll understand. Then the two friends came back with a donkey and Jesus climbed on his back and rode down, down the hill into the city of Jerusalem. The disciples followed behind him. Here's a picture. And can you find Squiggles in the picture? Can you find him? Right there. Yeah. Suddenly, they found themselves in a parade. Oh, we all like parades, don't we? People were singing and shouting, Hosanna! Hosanna! Here comes God's king! Hosanna! Praise God! There, look where Squiggles is right there. He's sitting on the donkey. People all over heard the shouting and singing, and they joined the parade too. Hundreds of people, lots and lots and lots of people. Thousands of people. Wow! Thousands of people were in a parade. They started taking off their coats and laying them down on the ground for Jesus and the donkey to walk on. They pulled palm branches down from the trees and waved them as they sang. Then they threw their palms on the ground to make a path for Jesus. The crowds gave Jesus a royal welcome as he rode into the city, just like a king. But Jesus was a very different king. He was a king of peace. Not everyone understood that. Jesus was not at all what they had expected. They thought the crowd was too loud and the parade was getting too big. Who is that man? Someone asked. What's going on here? Another one asked. 
The crowd answered, This is Jesus, God's king. He has come to save us. Some of the religious leaders murmured. Let's, oh, Squiggles wasn't on that page. Hush, Jesus, tell your friends to be quiet. It's way too loud here. But Jesus said, we can try to make these people be quiet, but that wouldn't make a difference because today the whole earth celebrates. And right there is Squiggles, right there. Can you see it? He's right down there by Jesus. So that's our story today, and thank you for listening to me. Uh, Pastor, did you want to say something to sure. the people after they're done? All right. Thank you very much. Wasn't that fun to have Linda read the story? Thank you, Linda, for doing that. What joy it was today. So we learned about how Jesus comes into Jerusalem on a donkey to celebrate the Passover. But this week does not end in celebration. Jesus comes to Jerusalem because he loves you so much. And so let's on the count of three. Linda, will you say it with me? Let's Maybe we can both get in the picture together. All right, you ready? On the count of three, let's say, Jesus loves me. Are you ready, Linda? I'm ready. Okay, one, two, three. Jesus, Jesus loves, loves me. me. Oh, yes, beloved children of God. Jesus loves you. And so Linda and Mary and Jessica and Audrey, God says to you, I love you so much. And Mike and Jake and Hamilton, God says to you, you are my precious children. And Ainsley and Axel and Armor and Anchor, God says to you, you are my joy. I look at you all and you make me smile. And Addison and Avery and AJ and Aiden, God says to you, you are my beloved children. So children today, have a wonderful day because Jesus goes to Jerusalem because he loves you so much. So I'll see you tomorrow for story time with Pastor Maureen. But if you would like to be like Linda and come and share the story right here, story time with Pastor Maureen, let me know and we'll set up a time when you can come in and read the wonderful stories of the Bible. So I'll see you tomorrow. Have a grateful day. Everybody, God loves you. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye-bye.